Did you know that Meghan Markle's Archwell Foundation donated to UCLA, the same organisation that has a director that's turning around and saying that Princess Catherine is faking her cancer? up everyone it's me steph the alt nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd where i break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness yeah let's jump into this madness shall we because this is absolutely insane so we have ucla race and equity director and a megzy stan oh yeah he proper 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 stands megzy spreading the conspiracy that Princess Catherine's cancer is fake. Oh, I shiz you not. Now, he has locked down his Twitter. However, ho, 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 screenshots, they stay forever on the internet. And so here we go. Uh, the director's name is Jonathan Perk, otherwise known as Jay Perk on Twitter. And these tweets are absolutely disgusting. Uh, so he says he uh, really and truly wondering if Kate Middleton is still alive. And I'm reading it word for word. He's calling her Kate Middleton the hero, okay? Uh, this next one. I wonder if Kate Middleton has cancer? Like, she said it. She's explained her situation in that video, saying that she's undergoing preventative chemotherapy. Why would anyone want to doubt Princess Catherine? Why would there be any basis for actually doubting Princess Catherine in the first place? This makes zero sense. I bet, and I won't wish it on anyone, not even Megzi, but let me use this as an example, right? If Megzi, my goodness forbid, right, had to do a video and announced that she was diagnosed with cancer, Firstly, my heart would go to her, all right? It's as simple as that. No matter how much I dislike Megzi, I do have compassion and humanity, right? My heart would go out to her. Secondly, I wouldn't doubt her. I wouldn't. It's not something you lie about. <laughs> you can call me naive if you want, but to me, it's not something you lie about, okay? So I bet the shoe was on the other foot and this was Megzi saying that she had that I don't think Jay Perk would be saying, I wonder if um, my princess Megzi has cancer. <sighs> this is insane. But guys, there's more tweets. He didn't shut the hell up on this. He goes and says, wait, but where's Kate Middleton and her kids? This stinks to high heaven. This whole hashtag where is Kate conspiracy theory. He delved into that as well and fanned those flames. He tries to uh, kind of excuse himself a little uh, by saying that he's also a cancer survivor um, who spent years as Leukemia Lymphoma Society's youngest board member. And no matter how vile he's been with these tweets, um, I do, you know, I do feel sorry that he, he had to go through cancer himself, which makes this even more frustrating because why would a fellow cancer survivor absolutely troll someone who's going through cancer treatment right now this is disgusting he says like many at first i didn't know whether to believe kate middleton actually had stroke has cancer or whether the royal family was using the cancer card to silence speculation now i'm sure to me there based on the rest of the tweets right when you look at it into the wider context i think here he's insinuating that Princess Catherine and the palace is using the cancer card to silence speculation. But he is doing no favours in terms of speculation itself when he's adding to it himself. Saying this, but what if Kate Middleton is in a coma or unalived? She's not. At the time, we were told back in January, right? She was going in for planned abdominal surgery. We weren't going to see her. We weren't going to hear a peep from her until after Easter. And then you had all these conspiracy nut jobs turning up saying, oh, she's had a Brazilian butt lift. Oh, she's had plastic surgery. Oh, she's in a coma. Oh, she's unalived. 
What? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is absolutely disgusting. The director of equity, diversity, uh, race, saying this from the UCLA. Wow. Why hasn't the UCLA fired him? This makes zero sense why they're still keeping him on. Uh, he then turns around and says, this is really disrespectful. King Chuck and Kate do not deserve my respect. He calls King Charles King Chuck. Yeah, let, let that settle for a few moments. This is the director of race and equity at the University of California, Los Angeles, the UCLA. Yeah. And this, this is how he is disrespecting world leaders, the monarchy, the British uh, public. How is he doing this? He's a director of race and equity at UCLA. But wait, guys, there's more. Too dim to see all royal family communications are scripted. These media illiterate Brits discuss this princess like a close pal. Kate did not request privacy. Their comms team wrote, Kate delivered a vague statement, hoping an, an, an ambiguous cancer me mention would nix future inquiries. Forget that a lot of the communication out of UCLA is scripted, okay? And statements are sent out to the media from the UCLA that's scripted. Oh, no, that's okay. But if the palace does it, ooh, no, they're hiding something, they're hiding something, they're hiding something. But, guys, you know, UCLA Director of Race and Equity, you had Kinsey Schofield here literally saying, freaking get a life, mate. Get a life and get a freaking clue. But let's get on to the actual donation of it all, right? Because here, and thanks to Megan's Mull, if you're not subscribed to her on YouTube, do so. Wonderful friend. Absolutely awesome, right? She tweeted this out. Hmm. Funny this. Um, look down here for the 2021 actual filing. UCLA Foundation. $250,000. Megzi's Archwell Foundation donated to the UCLA. The same UCLA that has this freaking moron as their director of race and equity. Yeah, yeah. The longer Megzi and Azza keep quiet about this moron, the longer, as far as I'm concerned, they are publicly supporting him and the UCLA. Because to my knowledge, they have not spoken out against that moron. They haven't. Interesting, right? And this ain't the first time that this absolute moron has tweeted something absolutely vile and monstrous. So a couple of years ago, um, he appeared to wish for Justice Thomas to unalive which is something that no one wants to openly admit. And guess what? Like I said, screenshots are forever, moron. Here we go. Uh, 24th of March, 2022. No one wants to openly admit we all hope Clarence Thomas unalives. Whatever you need to tell yourselves, this whole rule we're not to wish ill on people is silly. Uncle Thomas is a sexist token who's committed himself to making us all share in he and his treasonous wife's misery. Now, I've read up and this here is as far as I've read an absolute slur and insult and again this is the director of race and equity using that term again doesn't look good does it but he is openly admitting that he hopes that one of the justices passes on Twitter and he's still the director at UCLA of race and equity and has gone on to say all of this and probably so much more about Princess Catherine and King Charles. And with the actual of it all, 
being that Megzi's organization has actually donated $250,000 to the UCLA. And to my knowledge, has not once, along with Hazza, openly distanced themselves away from the UCLA and away from this moron to denounce these comments. Ooh, their silence is deafening indeed, isn't it, guys? With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course, there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our alternate tribe. I'll be honest with you. Help us get to a million so we can get the gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also, as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about this moron, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.